Hey parents, Billy Cochran here, AKA Mr. C, technology teacher. Um, hopefully your kids told you about this project and hopefully uh, they own the part of their process where they're supposed to go home and tell you about it and this isn't being sprung on you. If it is and it's become overwhelming, uh, please don't like worry, we got a plan B. But I just did want to send home like just a quick little video so you can kind of see like the insides of an iPad and what, what it looked like. This is my friend Max. Well, we've been working on this project at school with Max. Max is learning how to catch a football or teaching us how to catch a football. So you can see that we've filmed Max one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 different times. Uh, and we've done it in a variety of ways. Uh, I shared with you on, on that letter home, steps and, uh, steps and tips to filming, right? There's four steps, they got the script. And this focus right here is like on steps two, three, and four. Uh, film steps with a voice. So in this series, you'll see Max is kind of filmed himself with his voice with a medium shot. Uh, we film himself from a wide shot Just here. Don't worry about the first step. Just throw it a couple times. Okay. And uh, uh, we, we continue to film himself with his steps throughout, throughout this process. So starting here, we have his first three steps. And as we get throughout progress throughout the video, he's filmed himself in a variety of ways. Like on step three, change angles, film without voice. So after each step, Max was just kind of like we started filming him in different fun ways, catching the football uh, and um, like this, where he's catching the ball. We just came in and started filming him catching the ball. So your children should know, kind of you know, have an idea how to do this. We've modeled it. Um, but I just kind of want to show you what the inside of an iPad looks like after we're done. So you film steps with voice and you move on to change angles and you can film steps without the voice. And then at the end here, we just started filming Max, like doing ready? different things. You know, we started filming Max running, catching the ball and running it. You see, we just got the camera rolling there. Um, we filmed Max catching the ball from this interesting fun angle below here. Get that diamond ring. Yeah. And we filmed Max catching the ball, tucking and running, where I run after him. And we filmed Max running by when I'm laying on the ground. Uh, so anyways, just a quick video to show you kind of what we did here, you know, 15 different videos, uh, Max was coaching, Max and Olaf were coaching me through like where to go, where to move, what to do, um, filming steps with my voice, filming steps without it. And all the magic kind of happens at later in clips, right? So we film on the camera and then we come in the clips and we started to put some things together, right? And then they start to look a little bit like this. So you get a couple idea, you know, we, so we take the footage we just filmed and in school, we'll go through all the editing and then we'll do some narration. Uh, we're going to translate some of this into Spanish. They'll have Spanish subtitles and stuff like that. Some of the title texts are placeholders. It's going to turn into Spanish later. But, you know, this is the process is just filming stuff, <laughs> bring it back to school and we'll, we'll, we'll start to narrate over it. And then kind of I'll, I'll show you an example. One of the steps we were messing with in last class before Max left. He's going to narrate over this. Once you catch the ball, cradle it and run. So there's one step right there. Max got three steps. So just a quick little example of what this looks like. And you know, look, just have fun with it. Don't feel pressure. If things go south at home and you don't have time, you know, it's Father's Day Sunday, of course. Testing kind of messed us up and all that. But uh, if you don't have time to do this at home, we do have a plan B to get some work done, to get some filming here at school. We have other way, routes they can go, other choices that they can kind of, you know, dig into here at school. But we wanted to, you know, really what we want to do in this whole project is support your kids um, with some healthy, uh, healthy, engaging ways to use technology that aren't just sitting behind the thing. We want to get creative with it. We want to engage your minds in deeper level thinking and our world is so immersed in video today, it's critical that they understand how to read a video, understand a video, how to make content, you know, and how to communicate things. And this is a really accessible, fun, relevant way for their world. You know, medium is the, uh, excuse me, video is the medium of this generation, whether we like it or not. And I want to continue to model healthy, productive uses of technology. I want to continue to, you know, do that with your children and the only way to get them to see is it a productive tool is to use it as a productive tool so that's really what we're doing here that's the goal so just have some fun with the filming if uh 
this is overwhelming for you don't worry about it don't, don't worry about it like <laughs> we're, we're here to support them at school we'll just just do the best you can and um uh, i don't know hopefully this video was was helpful so to repeat have them film the steps uh have them film the steps they can speak on camera like max is doing here after they've filmed uh the steps change angles and film the steps without without the voice and then we can do what we did there with max we can voice record over here at school and, and do the Spanish recording here at school. Uh, and then collect B-roll footage. It means after you've kind of walked through all the steps, like if they throw the football, just do like we're doing right here with Max. Like just play catch, <laughs> have the camera person move around, have, move the camera in different positions, different angles. You know, it's a wide shot. You know, we got an over the shoulder shot. Uh, we get we get Max running with the ball at some point. You can see here I kind of move move from one spot then I move to the ground here just have fun with the camera have fun with the project have fun with your kids and uh have a great weekend